Welcome to this short demonstration of how to use the Nortronic torque wrench. So, what's in the box? We have a quick reference guide. This enables you to start using your tool as quickly as possible. Calibration certificates for both torque and angle. Both are traceable. It's important to note that the serial number on the certificate matches the serial number on the torque handle itself. Moving on to the box itself, we have three rechargeable batteries, fully charged as supplied. We have a memory stick. The memory stick contains a quick reference guide for Nortronic, the full user manual for Nortronic, TDS software and the TDS user guide. To complement the TDS software, the box also contains a 1 meter USB lead, enabling the tool to be connected for downloading collected data or uploading targets you've made within the TDS software itself. So installing the supplied USB stick into your PC. On this machine I've actually got auto play set up. We can do now. Open our folders and you'll see that we've got the operator's manual, the quick reference guide, the TDS software operator's manual and also the TDS setup file in there. I'm just going to just open this file for you now. As you can see, we've got German, English, Spanish, French and Italian. I'm just going to open this for you now. Strongly advised with any new tool that you take the time to read the operator's manual so you can get the best out of the product. So when you first want to use your Nortronic, you need to add the batteries. To do this, remove the end cap, remove the batteries from the box, place them into the Nortronic, positive end in first, two, three, end cap back on. It's important that you don't move the tool when it's going through the self-calibration mode on the gyroscope. So when we first use the tool, or if we're moving into a different time zone, we might want to change the time or the date. To do this, press the exit button. This takes you to the options menu. Scroll down to setup, confirm button. We then scroll down to time and date. This will give us a time and date screen, at which point we can make our changes using the up and down buttons, and we can confirm. Exit using the exit button. Okay, so we've seen what's in the box. So let's take the Nortronic now to a joint and see how it performs. The wrench itself, by default, comes with the angle function enabled. We're going to turn that off. Exit. And set up. Confirm. Angle. We're currently enabled. We want to unenable this function. Onto the exit. So we're now in torque only mode. As you can see, the angle function has disappeared. We're now going to set a target. The target we're going to be working to is 35 Newton meters. So again, exit, target, confirm. We can, at this point in time, we can change the torque units. If we're happy with Newton meters, confirm. We're now going to come up. and confirm. Exit. What we now want to do is set our limits. We're going to work to plus or minus 4%. To get to limits, here, we're currently set to plus or minus 4%. To change this, we can come up or we can come down. If we're happy, confirm. We move automatically onto low limits. We can come up or we can come down to confirm and exit back to our main screen. So we're now ready to use our Nortronic. When the Nortronic's being used on the joint, what you will see on the display, as we approach the target torque, we will be going from yellow, which is low, to green, which is pass. And if we were to go through that pass target, it would turn red. We will also get a firm vibration coming through the handle as we go into the green zone or the pass zone. As we can see, we yellow into green and we've passed. At this point, I can relax. Joint. This value, what I want to do, hit the save. We will then record the value for future analysis and we will reset the tool to zero. If we want to check the data that we've saved, let's go to the exit button, into the options menu, scroll down to data store, confirm, View all results, confirm, 
and we can see the data that we've collected. So after the installation of the software, we're in a position to open up TDS. So with the USB placed onto the Nortronic, we can now connect to our PC and we will get synchronization.